guys and welcome to my channel so this week's video is going to be very well i don't know if it is my guess is that it's going to be a bit all over the place because i'm on the slight verge of a mental breakdown at the moment so i need to keep my mind occupied so i'm going to just film videos this is the only one that i can think of <laughs> Obviously July hasn't finished yet so we don't know if I'm going to buy other things which I probably will and that's where I mean I'm going to film again but today I'm just going to go through all the things because I've got two new lipsticks and I've been dying to try them so that's what I'm going to do today but before I get into that I just thought I'd jump right into it and show you my grace box for today for this week so this is this week's this month's this fortnight's great this fortnight's great box and in it we have brilliant banana bread with dates and hazelnuts i'm not sure if i like this it comes with a tea bag i like tea bags but yeah i'm not keen on dates so i don't know i might try that with my mum because i know she likes dates but yeah and then next up we have the salted fudge and peanut cookie this looks really nice but yeah that's what this one looks like I'd curl my hair for the first time today but it's not really gone well. I think I need some new straighteners or something. My hair used to curl really well and now it just it's just lazy. Next up we've got the Garden of England which has mini strawberries, apple and black currants and this just reminds me of the toffee apple that they sent me a few boxes ago and it was awful and I hate any apple form that's not like a juicy crunchy apple basically strawberries do not not look like strawberries because usually they're a bit red but i think they're black and then finally we have the mai tai sweet chili sauce with baked soy bites and oh my god this looks amazing look at that it looks so yummy and i can't wait to eat it it's one of them things where like i want to eat it but I don't because it looks so good and I don't want it to go. So that's all the things in my Grey's box and next is a bit of a boring thing. It's something that I don't physically have on me right now but I've put it, I've taken a picture of it. It's currently at Aaron's house um, and it's just some face wipes like I keep going through loads of face wipes and I thought this was the one that didn't give me rashes but like obviously I've got makeup on now so you can't really see but underneath my makeup my skin's like kind of rashy a bit like in a few vlogs ago i think i went to slam dunk or something and oh did it it slam dunk it was somewhere but my face was like really rashy when i first use these wipes my skin is really really soft but like the day after i kind of break out a bit next moving on to my new mug basically I've been saying probably about six months to all my work friends, you know, because like, I'm obsessed with ducks. I wanted to get a duck mug for work, but the only ones that I could find online were like, what the duck or duck off or like funny jokes like that. But it's not really funny when you work in a shop, you can't leave your cup around with that saying on. And the rest were like really boring, they were like pictures of like ducks by ponds, like actual ducks. But I, I'm more of a rubber duck girl, sorry to all the actual ducks in the world. But I'm, I'm a fan of, I mean I do, I would like a pet duck if I had like a farm. But I'm probably not going to have a farm because I don't like big animals. So I went to HMV anyway and I found this Harry Potter Gryffindor mug. And Harry Potter has to be my favourite movie series of all time. I love Harry Potter. That's what this looks like. It's oh, Sorry, you can't really see because of my lighting, but it's just a Gryffindor mug and it was $7.99. So yeah, now I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna swatch one, then I'm gonna go get a face, not a face one, because I ain't got any. Have I got any? I don't think I've got any. Get some cotton wool or something. and remove that anyway shut up emma just tell them what you're doing don't know which one to do for anyway i bought these two beauties i think i'm gonna swatch the orange one first because i don't think it'll transfer onto my skin as much but these are the nyx soft matte lip cream i was in boots the other day and i walked over to the sleep counter and i was like you know what i've heard that these liquid lipsticks are quite good so i picked one up walked around the corner saw nyx and i was like 
well I'm putting you back because I've been wanting Nyx for about two years and I completely forgot that, that they had like countering leads so I had to get one. Got a little story, this is how weird I am. <laughs> Basically Friday night, this was Saturday when I went to buy me liquid lips, but Saturday night I had a dream that there was a colour pop counter opening in Leeds boot store. So what does Emma do? She goes up to someone who works in boots and I'm like, excuse me, I know this is a bit random, but I had a dream last night that there was a colour pop counter in your store. And she was like, no, they only do it online. <laughs> I'm like, I know that, but I were a bit embarrassed as well because there were like people queuing and there was this girl like directly behind me with her dad and her dad were like because like the woman behind the till she had like a sleeve of tattoos and like obviously I love tattoos so her dad was like promise me you'll never get a tattoo and I was just I was biting my tongue and I was like let your daughter do what she wants to her body <laughs> this will not open for the life of me I think it's cause I've got no nails Oh, here we go. I am like the most excited person right now, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god, it smells. What's that smell? It smells like, um, like sugary, but like, I don't know, like cakey. Marzipan, that's what it smells like. And I've never had an orange lipstick before. That's what one coat looks like. I'm gonna keep, like, I'm gonna let that dry a bit and then looks red on this camera I'm gonna have to do like a, a white thing in a minute where I reset my colour oh my god I love it it's so vibrant I got this colour because I thought it'd go with that bit in my hair but it's completely different colour I think two coats will be enough I'll do three for good measure okay so three coats really hasn't done much it's not made a difference between the second but the first coat was quite thin and yeah now I'll just do a colour correction thing on my camera and then show you what it actually looks like I can't tell but basically that's what it should look like um yeah that's what it looks like I think this is San Juan by NYX soft matte lip cream this is such a tongue twister as you can see it's really bright and I love it. It's really soft on your lips. Okay, so now I'm gonna just swatch. I should have done it on my hands. I'll just do one on my hands so you know what it looks like. That is the San Juan on my hand. And then I'm just gonna go and swatch Copenhagen on my mouth now. And then on my hand if you like as well. I'm sorry, but I really like this filter. Even though I've got to change it every time I put some lipstick on because you can't see it properly. Copenhagen is the one that I've been eyeing up for years, so I'm a bit eager to try it. I know it looks different on some people, but I'm hoping that it's like the main picture that's been trending around. If this goes the colour that I want it to go, it's going to go so well with my hair. Stop being a bitch. Trying it on for from the other side now because the other side's stuck. Now we're on a roll. <laughs> so excited. I don't think I'll need to do two coats of this but I'll see how it goes. Oh my god that is just the most terrible application I've ever done as lipstick. Okay so this is what Copenhagen looks like and it looks actually I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and film a bit on my phone so you can see like the full whack of it and see if it looks like it looks on the camera because it doesn't look as purple. <laughs> I'm really happy with it anyway I think it suits my hair it suits my hair better than it looks on camera but I love it I've been looking for this colour for a long time. Now you can see the difference in what my camera on my phone and my camera on my camera look like. And before I end the video, I best do a quick swatch on my hand so you can see what this one looks like as well. This is obviously Copenhagen and that is what it looks like on my hand. It's like the perfect berry red, berry purple, berry magenta. Hi guys, so I'm back. Um, I bought some other stuff so I thought well two other things so I thought I'd show you them now first being this little shopping basket it's actually quite bigger than I thought it was but 
they sold a sh this was from the range and they sold a shopping trolley as well and i was going to get that one but i thought that i won't fit as much stuff in it and i don't even know what i'm going to put in it and this i think was 279 but i might be wrong i'll double check though and put it in the description i then went and bought a little table and this was 7.99 i think or 6.99 I got this for my YouTube videos. I thought it'd be handy for my makeup because if like I want to do a makeup tutorial, I've never really got anywhere to put my makeup now because of my lighting. Like I used to put my camera on the windowsill and just film from there. I ain't got no room, so I'm just gonna try it out on camera, hoping that my camera doesn't die. So I'll be back with you in a moment. Please excuse my messy room if you can see it. I've got an itchy leg as well, I'm sorry. Right, okay, let's go. see excuse my mess i don't know if i said bye on my last little clip thing but if i didn't then thanks for watching and i'll see you next week bye hi guys it's me again just thought i'd let you know that you can click here to watch last week's video you can also follow me on instagram and snapchat if you like to keep up with me when i post i also have a facebook and twitter so you can follow me on there as well and that's about it Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week.